Hello, uh, my name is Dewey McMurray, Executive Chef of Operations for Texas Tech University. Today we're going to prepare a, a, an upscale but very easy to make Valentine's meal for a loved one. What we got here is full size ribeye, um, and I choose ribeye. You could use tenderloin, you could use um, sirloin, like this. Um, you could do New York strips, whatever your preference is. Um, and just to give it a little character, I'm gonna trim the corners off because I don't want it to look like I just cut a steak in half, even though that's exactly what we just did. Um, you kind of get a nice round shape, looks like a filet, simple. Um, you're not wasting a lot of meat by cutting the corners off, and that is stuff that you can put right into your next meal or vegetable soup or beef vegetable soup that is or any other thing you want to make that you enjoy making with beef. So we'll take our two cuts the way we want them. Whole steak, cut up like this. Um, we're going to take peppercorn since it's all poire and that's French for um, pepper crusted. Um, we're going to take this peppercorn melange. A melange is just a mixture of different peppercorns. You can see pink in there, green, white, black, um, just a mixture. I'm gonna put a nice coat on there. Um, if you can find specialty type peppercorns, um, pink are awesome. It's a great flavor, they're really expensive. But man, they are unique. Um, and it's a nice color. We're not gonna forget to season it pretty good with salt. You always wanna use salt because salt is a flavor enhancer. I mean, it's bad for you if you overdo it, but you can't live without salt either. You can tell I'm using a lot of pepper, but that's the whole thing about the pepper crusted beef. You want that spicy, um, peppery flavor on there. What I've got here is a hot pan, some clarified butter. What I need our mistakes. What I'm going to do here is lay these down in that hot fat. If you don't hear that sizzle, you're in trouble. Take your food out, let your pan continue to heat up, and get nice and hot. See, you can see that nice hot pan and that peppercorn, you get a nice crust on it. We're gonna move that fat around. We're also gonna move our steaks around in the fat so it stays nice and um, coated. And we'll get a much more even sear and this will also help us get really good color on our steaks. So you can get, we got a nice sear on there. Good butter flavor. You know, and you can see we got lots of pepper on there. But you, you know, pepper and beef got that nice bite to it. What I wanna do is deglaze my pan get all that meat flavor that stuck out. So I'm going to add the brandy without flambéing it. And then we're going to add a little shallots. Shallots, that little funny looking purple thing next to the garlic at the store. Some garlic. And let that get thick. Add some mushrooms. Let those kind of coat on the mushroom. Fresh time or dry time, anytime you're making mushrooms, you want to um, use thyme because it is a natural flavor enhancer for mushrooms. Now we've got our beef broth. We're gonna pour that in and let it reduce, just like we did the brandy. And that's also gonna help cook our mushrooms a little bit. Okay, we can see that this has kinda of got a nice nappe on it, uh, or a viscosity. It's pretty thick. It's much thicker than it was when I poured it in there. Uh, and I'm gonna add my cream. You know, I kinda of use my personal judgment. I've been cooking a long time, you might want to measure it out with a measuring cups or some kind of a volume container. 
So we'll look at that Nappé test again, you know, where you can run your finger through it and see how it's holding to itself. It's not running, it's holding itself. You know, it's pretty thick, so it's gonna coat well. Okay, so for the base, and you can, you, can, you can pretty much plate up however you like. Always try to think of a plate like a clock. You know, you got 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, etc. I almost always, just personal preference, put my vegetables at 2 o'clock. Um, if I don't, just stack them all the way up. Um, and then I'll take my starch. I'll place them at 10 o'clock or so. You know, and you can play it any way you like. And then we'll take our steak and put it at 6 o'clock. And you have a nice symmetrical looking, pretty fancy looking plate. I'll take my sauce and you can take a spoon, however you want to do it. Uh, and I'm going to Drizzle that halfway on the steak and in the front of the plate. You get a nice um, look of, at the sauce on the plate in front. And it'll help cover some of the white on the plate itself. And I'm going to take a few mushrooms for like a garnish. Just so you can see that this sauce was made with fresh mushrooms fresh time. I'm going to place a few of those on the steak or on the plate. You know, if you like a lot of sauce, pour it on there. Um, this is a pretty good portion size for two people. And we're talking about six ounce steak, five or six ounce potato steak, seven asparagus tips. And an au sauce, a brandy cream sauce. And you've got a simple meal for two.